Breakout rooms is an incredibly useful feature when you're teaching large groups and it allows you to split up your groups into smaller teams. You as the host can hop from team to team and then you can bring everyone back together when you want to. So if you want to enable breakout rooms, head to your Zoom account on zoom.us, then click on settings on the left hand side, then scroll down all the way to in meeting advanced. Select the second option which allows you as the host to split meeting participants into separate smaller rooms. Then select allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. Alright, so now just to give you an idea of how this all works, when I click on start a new meeting on my computer application here, at the bottom here, you can see that there is now an extra option on the meeting controls toolbar, which is called breakout rooms. Now what we can do is to have Zoom automatically assign people into breakout rooms, or you can do this manually. Now if you use automatically, you can still change it afterwards. So let's say for example, you have two students working together that don't usually work well together. You can change that manually afterwards. Now I'm going to leave it on automatically and then I'm going to click on create rooms. Here's where you can get an overview of all of the rooms that you've created. You can rearrange participants by clicking on assign and you can add another room manually if you want. If you hover over the rooms, you can delete them or you can rename them as well. And you can create up to 50 breakout rooms for your teams to work in. So let's give a real example just to show you exactly how this works. So I have four people present in my meeting, as you can see. I can automatically assign my participants into two rooms by leaving it on automatically and toggling the room number to two. I can move my participants to a different room by clicking on move to and selecting which room to move my participants to. I also have the option to swap one participant from one room with another participant in another room by clicking on exchange. So for example, I'm exchanging Anne for John. At the bottom, there are more options. For example, once you have assigned participants to rooms, you can recreate all the rooms you have just created. By clicking on recreate all rooms. Also, if you click on options, there are a number of extra options here to facilitate amazing teamwork. You can move all participants into the breakout rooms automatically, which means that they don't have to manually move. So once you click on open all rooms, they will be moved automatically to their room. You can allow your participants to return to the main session at any time, or you can untick and then they have to stay in the breakout rooms for the duration of the time that you have assigned it. You can automatically close that breakout room after about 30 minutes or however long you set it to. So for example, we can set this to 10 minutes. So the room is only going to be open for 10 minutes. You can then get notified when the time is up. Then when you close the room, they get a countdown and when the countdown reaches zero, they will rejoin you in the main room. So your participants have time to wrap up with other participants in the room. Okay, so when I click on open all rooms, you can see now that the icon has turned green, which means they are in their rooms. So essentially what it does, it actually creates separate Zoom meeting rooms for your participants. Now as the host, what I can do is to join any of the rooms by clicking on join. And when I click on the tab participants, you can see now that I am in that room. Again, when I click on breakout rooms, I can leave the room by clicking on leave and go back to the main session. Finally, if you want to send a message to your participants in these breakout rooms, 
select the tab Breakout Rooms and click on the link Broadcast a Message to All. So for example, I can say, anyone need help? And all participants will receive that message in all of the rooms. They can also message me back, as you can see here, or even raise their hands to indicate that they need more support or help. Also, if I want to manually close all rooms, I can click close all rooms, or if the time I have allocated to my breakout rooms is up, I can select close now. And you can see that the 60 second timer has now started. And after 60 seconds, they will rejoin me in the main room. They have the option to leave the room before 60 seconds as well, as you can see here. Okay, so finally, if you want to assign people into breakout rooms before the meeting takes place, go to zoom.us, then click on schedule a meeting. I'm going to leave this by its default settings. I'm going to schedule a meeting, say for about 45 minutes long. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to meeting options and select this additional box called breakout room pre-assign. That means that I can pre-assign a breakout room to my participants before the meeting has even taken place. You can also upload a CSV file, which makes it even easier for you to assign large groups of participants. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it. Comment down below if you have any more questions or if you want to comment. If you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.